All right, we're doing a type 2 projectile problem. And in this one, a golf ball is struck and leaves the ground at 48 meters per second on an angle of 60 degrees. How long will it be in the air before bouncing? So the question is, here we've got our golf ball. It's taken off at 48 meters per second. Notice it's an angle of 60 degrees. And the question is, is how long is it going to be in the air before it hits the ground over here on the far right? So that's the question. And so the first thing we need to use or to find out is this vertical velocity because this is what we need to use in a second to find out the time this ball is in the air. And so we know the, uh, the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle but we don't know what the opposite of this um, triangle is of this angle. So what we're going to use is we're going to use sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse and because we're looking for opposite, we're just going to isolate the opposite really quickly here. So we're going to times both sides by hypotenuse over 1. And then what we notice is the hypotenuse cancel out. We're left with opposite on the right. And on the left side, we've got hypotenuse times sine of the angle. And we're just going to, what we're going to do is put in our numbers. Now we're just going to put our variable opposite on the left side, which is the vertical velocity, the initial vertical velocity. And so the hypotenuse is 48, so we're going to put 48 meters per second times the sine of the angle, which is 60 degrees, and we end up, once we put those into our calculators, 41.569 meters per second. So now we know this velocity, the initial velocity in the vertical direction. So now what we're going to use is to find time, we're going to use a third kinematic equation, which is dy. And that's distance in the y direction times the, uh, the vertical velocity, vertical initial velocity times the time plus half a t squared. Now, because the ball started on the ground and lands at the same height, so dy is actually going to be zero. So we can put that into the equation right away. So now what we need to do is we're going to just isolate t here. And so what we're going to do is to, to bring, what we're going to do is to move this VT to the left side. So we're going to subtract both sides by VT. And so this VT is going to cancel each other out. So on the left side, we've got V, negative VT equals one half, or not one half, a half AT squared. So now what we want to do is isolate the T. We want to get one of these T's all by itself. So what we're going to do is going to do a couple steps here at the same time. So to move this t over to the right side, we're going to divide the left t divided by t. And then to move this half a to the left side, we're going to divide the right side by half a. But whatever we do to each side, we've got to do to the opposite. So what we have here is these two t's cancel each other out. This t cancels out with one of these t's. We're left with t. Then a half a cancels out with, with the, um, each other on the right side. So what we're left with is t, I just moved the variable over to the left, negative v naught y, the vertical, initial vertical velocity, uh, divided by half a, which is a gravitational acceleration there due, due to gravity, the acceleration due to gravity. So what we have here is negative vertical velocity, which we got here a few seconds ago, 41.569, divided by half, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. When we plug that into our calculator, we get 8.483 seconds. But if you go back to our initial, initial question, we only got two significant figures here and two here. And so our final answer has to be two significant figures, which is 8.5 seconds. Now just to double check that we've done all the right work, we're just going to do a quick unit check here in our last little step here. So at the top of this fraction in the numerator, we've got meters over seconds, so that's that right there. And on the bottom here, we've got meters over seconds squared, put that there. So when we divide fractions, we leave the top alone, and then we just flip the, the denominator and do a multiplication. So these meters cancel each other out. One of the, this second cancels with one of these seconds, and then we're left with seconds. So we more than likely did this, um, all this work properly because our final unit check is in seconds.